Tina Cook. Now, we all know Billy the Red can produce some really quality work. Were you happy in there? Yeah, no, I'm really pleased. Um, he went through a stage last year of being quite insecure. Um, and I always put it down to the year before me taking into prize givings and clapping and cheering at the Europeans. And it got him very worried with the crowd and the clapping. Um, he seems to have settled down a lot more, but he will always be a sharp horse. Um, even until he gets to 20 years old, he'll be sharp and he spooks at things. He's by Ballo de Rui, yeah. so um, <laughs> say no more. Um, yes. But it's just me managing him and um, he believed in me and actually was very rideable in fact I probably could have done a little bit more in the canter work but I'm so used to sitting quiet with him um, but no I'm, I'm very happy obviously I, I, I made a mistake with the change um, it's crossed with myself but I'll get over it and tomorrow's another day and he's a proper jumper I mean that must feel good going into the big track tomorrow yeah they're both great uh, good jumping horses I mean star witness wouldn't be a scopey and jumps quite stiff but I have to kick him um, Billy's a lot sharper and finds fence judges to spook at and all sorts of things and but he's a very neat and, and very sharp and, and very honest and uh, they're two great horses to have to ride around here and a lot of people are worried about the Shogun Hollow do you know if you're going left or right over the logs um, I'm planning on going left um, that's just by my my choice um, but there are a lot of places where if you're not absolutely on it that you can have you can run past so you're going to have to be on your A-game um, the whole way around and um, just, just be really positive and just hopefully make it clear to the horses where they've got to go.